Hey guys, so this is just a little video on the uh, battery compartment today. Um, first I wanted to share with you this little stand, the aluminum stand here which I bought from Northern Tool I think a few years back. Um, I'm sure you can find them around other places too. It's about 13 inches high and it folds up. And on top of that I have a stack of uh, some uh, cut pieces of wood. Now the reason for that is for easy removal of the battery. Now if we put my tripod down here so I can show you. The battery, when you get it out, it's really awkward. Not only is it heavy, but uh, you have the wires connected to it, which you, you know, you have to take off if you're going to put it to the ground. This setup is pretty good because you don't have to take it to the ground. You can just slide it out onto this little platform here. And it actually comes out pretty easy. Um, when I first got the trailer, it was a real fight to get the battery out. And that, it, that's because the battery is actually slightly larger by, uh, I don't know, about five millimeters maybe than the door opening here. And what I did is I went in with my trusty Dremel and I cut this corner. I don't know if you can see this corner. It's cut down a little. This one's okay, but this one, this radius was still a little inside where it should be, so I cut that a little bit too. I also ground down these these edges here because they had burrs on them, and when you try to pull the battery out, you would grab on it. So now that I've done that, once I take off the retaining uh, angle iron here and, and get the goofy bolt out assembly here which you got to shimmy on out or use a pair of needle nose to get out and then put back in is really fun and so this way I can get my battery out very easily put it onto the platform here I can check for uh, if I, any of the cells need water and of course you should check for that uh, uh, once a week. <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't have to do it once a week. <laughs> once a season, twice a season, maybe. I don't know. But uh, not once a week. But uh, one thing um, coming from a boating background that bugged me about the Casita was it had no battery shut off. And so this is a marine switch, a high quality marine battery shut off switch. A simple off on. And so I have installed this on the black wire which is of course from the casita the hot and so it you know the power goes straight from the battery through the switch and then onto the rest of the trailer and uh, this switch is a uh, perfect size because uh, the door still shuts completely um, and you can lock it with the switch in place and I just have it held here by a couple of zip ties because of course you have to take it off when you get a new battery these batteries are plenty heavy, like, you know, 27 series battery, I think it's about 48 pounds or something, but uh, it can be a real hernia buster when you, you know, or hernia maker, I should say, uh, when you, you know, have this thing out and uh, you're trying to uh, get the leads off it. So this makes it really simple, easy, convenient to service your battery, and uh, of course having this shut off is, uh, is, is good too, because you can shut off your battery completely from draining, especially if you don't have switches on some of your other uh, items inside the trailer that are constantly running, like that carbon monoxide detector, which of course I put a switch on. Um, so um, this is uh, another little upgrade or uh, remediation, as I uh, it's fond of saying. And that's what I have to share for today. So hoping you have some fun out there. That's all from the Casita Commander.